In this video, we'll connect your devices to Griffin. If you haven't set up your Griffin router or haven't created user profiles, check out those videos first. The best way to connect your devices is one at a time, allowing you to distinguish which device to assign to which user, since device manufacturer names are not always clear. For example, start with your laptop, find the Griffin Wi-Fi network, and connect to it. Once you're connected, your Griffin app will let you know that your device is connected. In the app, click on the Notifications tab to see the newly connected device. Once you select the device, follow the prompts to assign it to a user. If your device isn't automatically identified, you may first need to select the type of device it is. Then you can assign the device to a specific user. Follow the previous steps for each device in your home. Some devices, such as TVs and printers, will not be assigned a user. Griffin will still protect them from malware and intrusions. Alternatively, if you have a lot of devices and don't want to individually set up each one, you can change the Griffin network name and password to match the ones you were using before. To change the network name and password, go to Settings in the Griffin Connect app. Note, if you set it up this way, all your devices will connect at the same time and you will need to sort out which device is which one. And now you're done. For more information, go to our website.